Good morning, America. Once again, this is your silver sun speaking, Jonathan, on Sunday, 14th of November, 2021. My video log today will be in two parts. The first part, I'll be talking about um, the quandary that is evil core, particularly the the gay faction of evil, evil core and how it works against what the majority of gays believe, think and feel in their own beliefs. And the second part will consist of a sincere apology to the Jewish community. In past video logs, I have, I have mentioned some statements that have been anti-Semitic um, in the respect of the ones above in higher places. Um, I will get into that later, but um, that's basically what I'll be talking about today. So firstly, um, gays, the gay gender, Course, homosexuals. Ever since my early teens, I have progressively aligned with the inherent belief that anyone should be able to love who they desire. If you look at look up my name. Uh, there was a Jonathan Schmitz that was on a talk show in the 90s who ended up killing his gay lover. Well, it wasn't, they weren't actually lovers, but, um, this guy had feelings for Jonathan Schmitz. Not me, but it was fake. I think it was fake, kind of, kind of fake because I was a budding child actor and um, but as soon as the acne appeared like I pretty much knew that I wasn't going to be um, chasing fame in that sense. So, I have always been supportive of gays. Uh, I had a gay friend, Michael Bowden. Um, I, I supported Michael through high school. Um, I didn't think it was a problem for, for me that he was gay. Um, I was friendly to him. I went out of my way to uh, to make sure he wasn't targeted at school. Um, but he has turned on me um, because of the abuse that he has instigated against me. Psychological abuse, bastardization, probing with phallic objects of some sort. So, um, I have other friends on online on Facebook who are gays. Uh, I don't have a problem with that. Um, 
but it's the one thing that that is inherent in the enemy in my enemy in the opposition that represents them it's the one inherent trait that binds them all together and that is the fact that they are gay now And the one inherent trait or characteristic that defines them is butt sex. And I would like to talk about that um, a little bit deeper. Excuse the pun. It seems that men who do this to women are exploring some kind type of sexuality a gay persona a uh You want to know what all the hype about hype is about being like that, doing that. Um, and it really is disgusting. I find it disgusting talking about it. I, I look down upon that type of practice. And I don't know how they get away with it. I don't. Uh, just coming from personal experience, uh, I've had uh, I've doing the um, number two, um, the taking a dump. Um, I have been known to break blood vessels, and the next time I pass, the, the, the next time I take a dump. It's almost like revisiting, oh, it's so painful. Um, the, 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 the broken arteries or the broken blood vessels, um, they continue to not heal depending on how regular your, your bowel movements are. Um, and it is really, really painful. So I don't know how they get away with it. I, I, I don't know how it could be pleasurable. Um, I, I know there's, uh, I know there's the prostate and that does have the ability to experience some type of low level, um, orgasmic pleasure. Um, but yeah, it's just something I look down upon. Um, I mean, dogs engage in gay behavior. Um, dogs have been known to to ponder the smell of shit fragrantly. So, um... I, until recently, has, has, has been very open, tolerant, and accepting of gays in my day-to-day -day affairs. I think it's important to give them their place, politically, socially, um, economically. I believe that... Um, they have a right to say in how in how our government is formed, how it's run. But I ha I have a problem with the commies and the evil core gays that are the the backbench are 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 the the workers the worker bees. Um, in these institutions 
who commit atrocities on a daily basis. Um, it's very disconcerting. It's very troubling to see how wayward and immoral, unethical they can be. And I'm just wondering what, what the rest of the happy-go-lucky gays are thinking when this is happening on a day-to-day -day basis. They don't seem to really care about people's feelings. They don't seem really to care about people's honour. They don't seem to care. I mean, like, it, it, it excites them. It's exciting for them to, to be committing these types of acts and to know that they were out of hand in, in, in the role to play. The fact is, these gays who have been persecuting me, who have been um, bringing the pain, persecuting the flesh, um, they they're not open. They're 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 not tolerant. They're not accepting. And that, that was the one character one characteristic trait that I thought that all gays had. That's not true anymore. Because we're here in the future and they don't accept me. Even though I was accepting of them, they don't accept me. And that is because they think zero doesn't exist. My record speaks for itself. I've had zero gay fucks, zero gay blowjobs, zero gay men kiss, gay men kissing, zero everything. So they don't think they don't accept me because I haven't engaged in that lewd behavior before. So obviously they think I'm the, I'm on the other team, and I'm some new age world leader who stands up for straight people. Um, just one moment. So they think I'm, I'm a new age world leader who stands up for straight people. Not really. Straight people have been around a long time. And gays are... Um, they're here in the future. This is where they want to be. This is where they run the world. This is where they get to have all the fun. Um, so it's very disconcerting that these other guys who mingle in the same social circles, the same networks, the same groups and communities are being led down the garden path by these other guys. And I'm going, hello, hello, do you, do you see where you're going? There's, there's a cliff over there. There's, there's a bottomless pit over there. There, there. There's somewhere you don't want to go over there. So, how do we bring the gays back into a moral, ethical, values-based world? Because right now, it just doesn't seem necessary that they have values, beliefs, and morals. 
and I'm troubled at a, at at how every gay click might have one righteous gay who 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 they don't don't engage in this lewd behaviour with. Who 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 they who they, they just want to be in, in, in their presence to to realize what righteous is. I'm not saying it doesn't exist, but I'm saying that there's there's righteous gays out there that are being led down the garden path by the, these other gays, the gummies and the evil call. So, I mean when these younger millennials grow up and a lot of them were suicidal as kids because they, they see their community and they see what's going on at with, with middle aged guys and it really is disconcerting it really is troubling so wake up call hello get back on the train the values based beliefs, moral train, and let's just try and reach there together. I'm willing to help you. I have no problem with what you're doing. If you want to do that, that's your that's your decision. If you're born like that, more power to you. But, yeah, I, it's, it's kind of ironic that these guys don't accept someone like me, even though I've been in their corner ever since I watched Phil Donahue. So, um, and I will serve you, but my, my talents are with the opposite sex, not the same sex, sexually, as a sex god. Um, So, yeah, uh, the best I could do is, is lie in the same bed with you and, like, no spooning, just, um, platonic, a platonic relationship in the same bed. But yeah, even when I do that, um, there are instances of respect not being shown and the, the, the taking, taking away, feeling less happens. I mean, I have no problem with that. I can go upstairs and be restored and, and, and feel myself. But, but when you, when you take sexually, um, when it's a, supposed to be a platonic relationship, um, it's wrong, and I, and I, and I don't want to do that. So, hello, peace, love, light, and moonbeams to these, to these guys who are hearing this message. I hope that you can get the rest of your community back on track with the same people because right now it's looking psycho sociopathic and don't follow these guys down that that road because there's a cliff at the end of it 
and you're traveling at a high speed, so you're gonna fall. The second part of my video log was for me to apologize to the Jewish community for in the last vlog vlog video log I stated that gays were in the upper stratos the stratosphere uh, harvest, harvesting souls in heaven where certain garden beds arise and um, souls bloom as flowers um, and these flowers are nurtured, they're cured, they're taken care of by these benevolent nice, compassionate, caring, considerate Jews. They're good people. They're Zionists. Um, and they are up there in Australia taking care to this garden bed um, that is of the souls that have passed, who have died, who have exhaled their last breath and have gone on to the other side or to the next place. This is how it works. Um, this is how the system has worked for a number of years. Um, and it's got, we have to get used to it. If Jews are doing the work, uh, usually it's a job that only a Jew knows how to do. Um, I have once heard being, someone say that, that Catholics are the handmaidens of Jews. And Muslims are the handmaidens of Catholics. Some people may say that the Quran is derived from Catholicism, considering the Archangel Gabriel that, that transmuted the verses of the Quran to Muhammad. So, I wish to apologize from my heart to the Jewish community around the world that I, I was upset that, that Jews were up there. But these are good people, they're responsible, they're pure, and they have a much a desired job by which many would like to have. So these Zionists, these Jews in the upper stratos are planning to go back to the old world to start again in the next place. And they'll be taking these souls with them. That is my belief. That's what I've been told. Uh, this, this is happening in a number of nations around the world. Jews in the upper stratos being in charge of these affairs um, and and I, I, I hope 
I uh, I hope that 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 this is not affected in any way by which by what by what I said. The the order, the picking the pecking order that this is not influenced because uh, the Jewish people are very meticulous in how they do their jobs. They're very careful. Um, and, um, I, I, I believe that, um, as long as Jesus is fine with this, I have no qualms at all. So, um, Jesus is my leader. Uh, I confide in him. I... I pray to him. Um, he is, he is the one to me, um, and I, uh, I wish the very best for him and his plan. But I'm sure people um, around the world will be um sympathetic to to my outlandish comments um i think they were uncalled for and are out of line particularly when you when you think of holy men um rabbis prophets sons saints um they're all majority are jewish so but I, i'm sure you can sympathize with me because um what's come out of israel with bibi netanyahu uh, his evil inclinations, uh, his evil desire to sack me, his, the, to persecute me, to make me suffer, to 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 screw with the brotherhood uh, and the sisterhood of, of man, um, to try and divide us. Um, these these Jews in Hollywood who have persecuted me, who have psychologically abused me sexually who who have um uh stolen my treasure who who have star fucked me um jews they're all jews they're all funding this these types of operations so sorry if i came off anti-semitic I'm not an anti-Semitic person. I have uh, Jewish associates, um, and uh, yeah, we, we get along fine. So, just give me a little background to where that was coming from. Um, everything is is. Uh, uh, hopefully people can forgive me for my outlandish statement statements and we can get back on the path of doing this together okay so that's me for now till next time tune in later thanks bye